All right, so welcome back everyone. This is just a quick, I guess you could say developer update. <laughs> because before we start working on, or rather I start working on the Battle Royale game, I want to actually just go through the UI design course, especially since anything in multiplayer is going to require some kind of user interface and I want it to look, or is eventually look pretty good. So the course I'm taking is actually really good. Now, of course, a lot of these assets come from the free Paragon, Paragon game from Epic Games that they abandoned. So that's what the basic stuff looks like. You have all the objects here on the left side. And here's the... This is not most... This is not all the code, but this is basically the menu manipulation code in Blueprints for, you know, toggling and swapping between characters. So... It's actually really nice. So this is your default mannequin guy, and then we press the E key. You now we can toggle between all the nice looking characters. So if I choose Revenant, you know, he's a... Yeah, Epic Games really did, did very well, you know, really adding all this detail and animations and stuff. Like, it, like let's... This Revenant character alone takes up like one gigabyte of space or one and a half gigs because of all the configurations. Obviously, if I were to actually put this in a real game, you know, it'll strip out all the unused stuff, but it's pretty nutty. And then, so we do Muriel. All right, she kind of flies in from above. I probably didn't need to pull the camera back, but I'm just using the default key. So. That's robot lady, and then of course, oops, wrong one. Uh, nope. And we got good old Serog, which is <laughs> this one's kind of cool. The animations are really nuts on this. So, and all these animations were already included in the Paragon assets, so I didn't I didn't have to actually blend space or anything. So that was pretty nice. All right, so I think going forward, when you know, at least when the game's released, I'll eventually start doing some coding streams. So you can actually just see me work on the game as we go along. You know, most, most game developers don't do that because one, it's annoying, I guess. And then two, you know, it might expose like cheating or whatever. But, you know, as long as everything happens or at least the important stuff happens server side, right? And you can't really stop cheaters. You know, I'll eventually just look into Easy Anti-Cheat, which is owned by Epic Games now, and it's free. The problem is the documentation implemented is not, you know, quite there yet. Or I could just simply pay for Battle Eye, you know, so. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, some of, some of the, uh, yeah, some of these animations don't whatever, but that's okay. Alright, so until next time.